Would you do it again? No. Why? Um, I felt like the, the video, you know, it was just something that happened in the heat of the moment. I really never thought in a, I didn't know enough about <clears throat> Snapchat to know that anything you put on it would, could be screen recorded and sent out. Um, we asked the person to take it down. They said they would, and they didn't. And just for her sake and for my own, I would not have chosen to do it again. I'm really surprised that I'm having to say this to an adult, but let me say it to you anyway. Mm -hmm. When you put something on your computer screen mm -hmm. and your phone and you hit send, mm -hmm. <laughs> you lose all control. I get it. It's out there forever. And that's my warning for other parents is that I had no idea that it was not gone in 10 seconds like Snapchat stories <laughs> usually are. So they're gone in 24 hours. Or well, you say that you hate that you're... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you say that you hate that your mom is trying to make meet and greets with fans. Sorry. <laughs> it's just really funny to me. <laughs> I'm glad. You and your mom have actually kind of discussed this and worked through it, and you actually would say that you have more open communication now than you did before. Definitely. Have you forgiven her for this? I haven't. <clears throat> it's hard to forgive for that, but I guess, I mean, yeah. Well, I mean, you, you don't, you don't get, you're not mad about it every day. No, I'm not mad about it every day. Do you think it was a mistake? Yes, sir. And let me tell you why I think it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Your feelings, totally get, 100%. Mm -hmm. The problem is when you shame a child publicly, and she is a child, she's mm -hmm. a teenager, but soon to be an adult. There is nothing that cuts deeper into a child's psyche than being shamed. Mm -hmm. And being shamed publicly is a, a really big deal. You can shame them at home and it's bad enough, but if you do it publicly, it has a residue, it, it has a lasting effect. And the good news is, I mean, maybe a million people have seen this or I don't know what the head count is, doesn't matter to me. <laughs> the truth is, out of that million, you only know about 50. The problem is your immediate area and your peer group and your teachers and parents and friends, right? That's where the sting is. Mm -hmm. But you wouldn't do this again. No. And you didn't call the parents. No, well, I ended up um, speaking with them at a later time, with one of them at, la at a later mm -hmm. time. Yeah, and that's... I have no problem with that. Mm. What I have a problem with is going public like that and naming names of minors mm -hmm. and all that. That creates a problem. Oh, so. I understand. Okay. And who are these fans? What do you. <laughs> so um, overnight, I had 20,000 people on my Twitter. I had just started a Twitter to keep up with things two months prior to this event happening. And overnight, I had 20,000 people who started following me and um, started writing me letters, um, teenagers and parents both, um, asking for advice. I now answer those letters anywhere from one to four hours a day of my day is spent answering letters to them, okay. talking to them, and that's how it's, it's continued to grow. And, and, and you're thinking about meeting up with some of them? I have met up with some of them. Uh, let me be real clear here. What you know about these people is that they have a computer or mobile phone. Correct. That's all you know about them. Mm -hmm. Just because you didn't know how this other stuff worked, I, I want to put you on alert. You don't know, the only thing you know about the person on the other end is they've got some device they can type on. Correct. That's all you know about them. Correct. 